So I'm joined by Luis Goncalves, right fielder for the Knights after that game. Obviously, it's, a, it's difficult to take a loss like in, in the semi-finals, but you guys played very well today. There was some great work by yourself on the outfield, like taking things yeah. on, the, on the fences, over the fences, <laughs> two of them. Like if this field was a, a yard shorter, you might have given up four, maybe five home runs. But no, so. um, yeah. obviously a loss is not something you want, you want to take in a semi-final. But how's like this season gone for you? How did you kind of like feel today went for you? Yeah, OK. Um, yeah, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to, um, to talk and on behalf of the Knights. Um, yeah, the season, the start of the season, look, we didn't start off how we actually really wanted to. We were splitting pretty much every weekend. I mean, you've seen the, the level of play of the guys that we have. We're a really, really good team, but uh, we just wasn't working things out. Miscommunication, guys yapping at each other. We all had uh, a big meeting one time, I remember, inside of a locker with no windows. It was fucking hot as hell. Everybody was just there. We talked it out like men. And since then, I think we've probably lost two games for the rest of the season. So I'm talking maybe eight weekends going for it. So I'm really proud of the guys and, and everybody on how we all put a, can I swear? Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, put a shit together. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure. You already did uh, one already. <laughs> I, did, like, oh, man, I didn't realise. It just comes out. Yeah, the F-bombs um, are uh, okay. occasional. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, um, I'm really proud of, of my guys for making it all the way here. Today, we played well, but it wasn't our best game in terms offensively. I think we left a lot of people on base. Um, they had some really good pitching. We had some really good pitching as well. The game was tight all along. Um, yes, there were some, some, some plays that we made, <laughs> including one from me that over there in the fence. I didn't even realise there was a fence there like until I just toppled over. But... Anyway, that was, um, yeah, it was good baseball from both teams today. These guys, obviously, they do deserve to be where they are as well. And, yeah, I've got nothing bad to say. The umpires were great today as well. And, yeah, that is it, really. That's all I can say. Yeah, it's, you, you guys showed, like, tremendous fortitude to come back. Like, you were yeah. three down. You brought it back to three immediately in that bottom of the first. And you were just like, okay, this is going. Yeah. Kind of then both sides put up a couple of zeros. Then it was 6-3, and it was 6-4, and it was 6-5, yeah, and it was 6-6, six, 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 and, then... and you, you kind of brought it back. But every time you did that, the, the Metros then just <clears throat> chopped the momentum back in, in the yeah. other direction. Um, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, for you guys, you, you've seen like different levels of pitching across the entire season. Um, obviously, I'm now talking about the opposition, but to come in that pitching then by now uh, Matsushita at the end kind of came in, and I think you guys struggled. I think he picked that outside corner, which... Probably yeah. was not a traditional strike, but William Plyer had probably been calling it like all day, and yeah. he hit that spot, Constantly. like, and he got he got you ahead of you guys on one and zero or zero mm. and one, like that mm. whole entire game. But it's like, how does it for you, like, when you have to like switch between like the different pitchers as you're coming into the game? How does it kind of like mentally get you? Because you you kind of just about get a hitter, you pitcher, mm. and then you're done, and it's like, oh, here's a new and guy then, that now I don't know what's going and on. And then you're back again. Yeah, that's right. I mean. The, it was very two different approaches. We could tell this guy was a really good pitcher and we knew he was just going to throw it in the zone uh, pretty much every pitch. He's really controlled, whereas maybe the other two, they're also good pitchers, but not as controlled as, as, as the last pitcher was, really. But it is tough switching between one and another, especially when the, that, that is the very first time we face that guy. We've never faced him in a season. In fact, I think he's actually played just three games in the whole season. Yeah, he's um, been at university. <laughs> yeah, 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 for one reason or another. Um, but, um, but yeah, it is tough to go and face that level of pitching again. So it did bring us down a little bit. At the same time, I don't think we were in the, our best sort of offensive shape today we could have done definitely better but uh but hey ho nevertheless it wasn't a bad game at all it was a tight game and it's just how i wanted it to go a tight game you know fighting hard both teams so. well yeah uh cheers luis and, and and your team for providing us with a thoroughly entertaining entertaining game it's been my pleasure to call what's happened today um mm, obviously absolutely. as i said didn't go your way but best of luck for everything thanks for, the very much. for your team Appreciate um yeah uh, obviously we'll uh, hopefully produce some more games next season and we'll see yeah, you yeah. here yeah we'll keep going we'll maybe keep going. here in the semi-finals and yeah, finals absolutely. again next year but absolutely. best of luck you guys are obviously a very strong team and you showed mm. that today yeah thank you very much appreciate it thanks mate cheers cool